Hi friends, it's Papa Dale from Papa and the Bandit RV Life and we spent another night here in Lubbock, Texas uh, at the Walmart. Um, it was an interesting night. Mike did a uh, live stream last night and I moderated uh, along with another fellow and uh, uh, we had an interesting time zapping out the trolls and such. <laughs> it was about a two hour live stream so it was a lot of work for quite a while so anyway um, we're gonna move on today we're gonna head up towards uh, well I'm not sure originally we were thinking about going up to Abilene uh, now we're thinking about going somewhere else so uh, Mike I think is still asleep and uh, when he gets up uh, we'll we'll figure out together where we're going but uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much ready to go right there. Now, an interesting thing, Mike moved his rig last night. Well, why would that be, you'd say? In the middle of the night, Mike moved his rig. Well, because a trucker came in and really crowded him. Now, the edge of his rig was probably... Oh, maybe not quite halfway into this next parking space here. And that truck pulled up right about where I'm, where I'm uh, pointing, right here with my shadow. Right about that line. Gave him maybe five or six feet. Really ridiculous. And he backed into him. And then he uh, unhooked his tractor and just left the trailer there and it was a refrigerated trailer and the compressor kept cycling on and off on and off all night really irritating so I don't know probably one o'clock in the morning Mike had had enough of it and just moved his rig up there I don't blame him uh, I was he was here and and I was over there right by that little tree in that other line of uh, of parking stalls and he was bothering me so I'm sure being butted right up behind Mike there it bothered him uh, I was pretty irritated by it too so anyway that's what's uh, going on here in Lubbock so Papa Dale just checking in and checking out See you down the road. Hi friends, it's Papa Dale. And I am following Mike right here. And we just went through downtown Lubbock, Texas. And we're on our way up the highway to Amarillo. So, happiness is love of Texas in my rearview mirror, and we will arrive in Amarillo. See, look at that sign right there. See it right there. We will arrive in Amarillo by morning, as the song says. Off we go. Oh, there's the uh, Lubbock International Airport right there. So, safe journey, Lord Jesus be my pilot, and we're going to have a good time on the road. If we see anything of interest on the road, we'll film it for you so that you can uh, feel like maybe you're a part of the trip. City limits Amarillo, 241,000 people. Oh, Lubbock, I mean. City limits of Lubbock, 241,000 people. Anyway here we go oh wait that is the that is the tower <clears throat> over there that is the tower for Lubbock International Airport it's kind of a ways away you may not be able to see it all right so Papa Dale checking in checking out talk to you again soon Papa Dale checking in here Still driving across the uh, northern plains of Texas. Bikes ahead of me. 
one of the things that I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see it, it might be too far away, is that water tower over there. Looks like a giant balloon sticking up in the air. Kind of funky. One of the things that I noticed about Texas when I lived here in 2012, at least in the Dallas area, when you get up in that highly populated area onto uh, the tall freeway overpasses, which are about the highest point anywhere around other than the buildings in downtown Dallas, and you look out across the landscape, you see dots all across the landscape of water towers here and there and everywhere. You might see 20, 30, 40 water towers way, way, way out there and some in close. Uh, just because they need all the water, of course, for all the population that surrounds or is part of those uh, larger towns like Arlington with 300,000 and Garland with 200 plus thousand and so forth but it's kind of interesting for somebody that's not from around here to look out and see all of those water towers but here there aren't that many around because there's not that much population here you see all the electric wires crossing the country and uh, you see all of the uh, the electric towers up in the air for sending the electric energy from the, I presume, from the wind turbines all across the prairie here in Texas. Now, I haven't seen any wind turbines up this far north. Uh, we're moving into the Texas panhandle here. There's probably wind turbines up here. I just, uh, my route just hasn't taken me across any. So anyway, this is the uh, Texas Prairie, and uh, we're just cruising along here about 55, 60 miles an hour, taking our time, saving gas, and I just wanted to check in, let you know how things are going. So now here's Papa Dale, check it out. Well, I've heard of George Washington, and I've heard of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, Right here, we have Happy Texas. One mile to get happy. Woohoo! Yabba dabba doo! Well, hello, friends. This is Papa Dale checking in, and we have arrived at our destination, which is another Walmart store. And uh, this one is in Canyon, Texas. There's uh, where we were able to find a really great place to park our rigs right next to some grass where the dogs can run up and down the hill. You can see the Walmart sign maybe in the distance there. You can see the freeway. That's the freeway that will take us into Amarillo proper. If that's the way we go, we really don't know where we're going for sure for camping. There's a real pretty canyon that Mike's been to. Actually, Mike did a video on it a couple years ago called the Palo Duro Canyon. And it's only about uh, 13 and a half miles from here. It's a state park and it's supposed to be a pretty nice canyon, so we're going to jump in the tracker and probably go over there this afternoon. Right now though, we're going to uh, we're going to get some lunch and uh, Papa is probably going to take a nap. Uh, I'm old. I get tired easy. <laughs> I got to take a nap. Other than grandkids, a nap is uh, one of the best parts of the day. So, uh, checking in, checking out, and we'll catch you a little bit later. Well, guys, it's Papa Dale checking in. And I just wanted to show you guys something. They say everything is big in Texas. 
Well, check this out. That is a huge hornet! <laughs>